very important thing and you have phrased is that I am a bit disturbed when people talk about cut off. And I in fact the worst part of it is that despite the fact that the, uh, the policy meeting for admission is done publicly, is done in public there. You have not less than fifty journalists, not less than uh, top uh, media men, not like less than ten at the venue. You will still find people talking about things that are very strange, like jam fixing the cut off mark. Uh, those who are present at the examin at the policy meeting know that even at a point, heads of institutions had to vote, vice chancellors, uh, rectors, and provost had to vote. No jam staff voted, and under the chairmanship of the uh, of, of the honourable minister of education, at times when people exhibit ignorance about some of these things, I believe there is. No level of education that could correct an already made up uh, mind. When you talk about pass mark, pass mark where? When you talk about cut off, cut off where? In public there, we have told you that every institution determines its cut off. And they have submitted the cut off. A university, for example, University of Ibadan says my cut off is 200. The University of Ibado cannot admit any candidate with 199. The University of Benin would say, my cut off is 180. If you score 179, you cannot go there. So all institutions will submit their minimum. After the examination, then provides the results to the institution. So that each institution will determine where it uh, wants to stop and when this is done what unfortunately people call cut off mark is that we look at those whose scores whose uh, threshold appear to be ridiculously low and we now vote that this is the minimum that is those of you who put anything below this you must bring it up to that level and that is what people unfortunately call pass mark or minimum score. There is no minimum score. There is no pass uh, mark. In this year, all of you who are there at the venue, you know that only about 10, not more than 10 institutions, uh, recommended less than 140 or less than 120 or less than 100. Less than, they are not up to 10. And the honorable minister even asked those people, why are you picking as low as this? They were given the floor. And they said for this, for that, for that. And after that, it was decided that, okay, let us vote. Should we allow these people, just these 10 people, to see go as low as this? And people said, no, 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 no. This is the minimum that anybody should go. Unfortunately, the impression in public there is that, in fact, there are people talking about pass mark. Which pass mark? There is no pass mark because it's a ranking exam. It's a selection exam. It is examination that is meant for people who are qualified. And people are talking of banking. Banking uh, examination, where some of those who take the examination are still in SS1. They do not even have the qualification to go into the university. And they now try testing. If anybody can take our examination, you don't need to be on uh, uh, at the final year. It's not a school-based examination. So we are not talking of a uh, uh, pass mark. Which pass mark? If somebody, for instance, scores 280 and he wants to read pharmacy at the University of Ibadan or at uh, ABU, he scores 280, good. Will you call that pass mark? Well, pass mark this year. We will not be pass mark next year. If you, there is anything you call pass mark, because it's a ranking exam. Somebody who came, for instance, you want to take 100 candidates for nursing. Somebody scores 230, and therefore it will not be taken. You now say bank that thing, so that next year you don't pay it. Good. That person banks it, which means he cannot write another exam. But next year, another uh, batch of candidates are going to take the same exam, and they will score more than this candidate, which is 230. Yet he cannot still go. Because if he wants to read pharmacy or medicine or only to say at shooting, 
for that you must need the qualification for that year not and when people say my child was so taken despite the fact that he met minimum which minimum those minimum are made for just few institutions who are chosen less than that minimum and the policy meeting says take it up and it, uh, enjoy it up to that level so it is misinformation it's lack of readiness to learn now many people who do not uh, have knowledge of a matter want to be called an expert in the issue because we devote all our time 24 hours a day to so this issue yeah. somebody is just casually listening it's not saying that uh, it's the uh, yeah. is telling us what the Professor Lord, 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 Lord. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, we, we have very limited time. I just would like to ask you, uh, because this has been um, recurring, you know, controversy, even since 2016. We, we remember, you know, similar thing happened, which led to uh, JAM uh, prescribing the post-UTME uh, uh, test, and of course, which was later uh, lifted by the Honorable Minister of Education. So why is, why do professors and all those stakeholders who attend the policy meeting it, um, not respect this decision? No, they, they are respecting it. Hello? Yes, we can hear you. Yes. I, I, I believe that my own position is that you can wake somebody who is genuinely sleeping. You cannot wake somebody who pretends to be sleeping. So the issue is that if people, uh, if people refuse to be told, then they will be parading ignorance. I am telling you, let anybody refute what I have said. Jam does not prescribe any minimum for any university beyond what has been statutorily stated. Every university determines its own court, and Jam does not even recommend anybody for admission except the person recommended by the institution. So the point I'm making is that people are free out of ignorance to say what they do, but we should be focused. But the unfortunate thing that I find is that those who are supposed to know, they just refuse to know. And when they refuse to know, there is nothing we can do. We spend a lot of money on publicity okay. to educate people on what should be done okay so, come, come. Speak, to, speak to speak to us yes. speak to us quickly about the map of ex exams uh scheduled for this saturday uh what things okay. are you differently to address the the issues for which uh, uh this exam you know arose thank you very much uh go ahead prof we can hear you yes uh, the examination for saturday is meant for certain categories of individuals. Those are individuals uh, whose result, the result in the center where they took their examinations have been cancelled. There are 10 centers. We have uh, five of them uh, in Aba, Aba Town. We have three of them in Onicha. We have one of them in Ebutemeta. We have one of them in Asaba, and um, one is well, and there is another in Bini. We also have one in Bini. These are ten centers that certain irregularities are taking place during the examination. We have cancelled because there are some innocent students in those centers, but they have done certain things that we have found to be medical to the examination uh, process. So we have canceled those 10 centers and we are rewriting for everybody in those centers. And we are taking appropriate action against the centers. In addition to that, we are stating those who have technical problems. People talk about technical problems and they talk about JAM. JAM has only 34 CBT centers. 34 or there about CBT center. 750 centers that we are using belong to private individuals and public institutions. We pay them to use those uh, uh, centers. So when they have problems, we will have access to monitor and remedy what it is. We will continue to accredit them. Pro Professor, we will continue to 
question. Yes, thank you. Yes, Professor Isha Kolei, I'm afraid we, we, we have to uh, round off our conversation. Uh, we've always okay, been into our time. Yes, Professor yeah. Isha Kolei. Right. Yeah. Yes. I, I, that's something. I, because I still find a lot of confusion in the public space mm. about the minimum score. For universities, there's no confusion about that. It's said to be 140. For colleges of education, it's said to be 100. What is the score for polytechnics? 100. So why, why do we keep having the repetition of 140, 120, 100? So uh, let's clarify that. Again, for universities, minimum score, 140. Polytechnics, 100. Colleges of education, 100. All right, uh, thank you, Kingsley. Uh, so 